my BBL right. is not something that I will ask anybody to go for. Right. If you survive, fine. If you don't, right. fine. But I don't advise anybody to go for it. Right. Honest listeners, welcome to another exciting episode of Honestly Speaking, the only show where you ask us to bring any of your favorite celebrities to answer questions that have been bugging you and we get them to answer honestly. Today's guest is a media personality. She's an actress who came to the limelight through her role in the movie Chasing Hope. She's a fashion model, a brand influencer and many more. Uh, when we return from the break, uh, Chichi Neblet speaks to us. Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking and Chichi is here and she's ready to speak honestly. Welcome Chichi. Thank you so much. You're looking so beautiful. If I don't say that, I'm lying to you. Thank You're you. looking beautiful. Thank Hair, JJ, nails, JJ, dress, JJ, <laughs> everything, JJ. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, hi. Well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll take it from you. I'll take it. How are you? How's I'm the fine, day? Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. This is my first time having kind of like a candid conversation with you. You know, who are you? Where did we grow up? Where are we from? Who are parents? You know, what are we doing even with our life right now? Oh, okay. So, as you said already, my name is Chichi Raunika Neblet. Okay. I am a Liberian okay. based in Ghana. Okay. Um, my family are back home in Liberia. Right. And then I'm here because I have a child with a Ghanaian. And okay. And I work yeah, as an influencer, okay. an actress, okay. and a fashion model. Right. And so, um, how long have you been living in Ghana? Mm, I've been in Ghana for like 20 years plus. Oh, wow. Wow. So, um, you're married or you just have a kid? I'm, I'm not married. I'm no more married. I have okay. a son, yeah. All right. All right. So, you came, you moved to Ghana purposely because, you know, you had found someone that you were, like, you know, building a life with or you genuinely, like, this is a place where you actually loved coming to? No, I came to Ghana in 2003 because we, like, they were fighting war in my country. Ah, so, okay. I actually came to seek refuge in Ghana. Right. So and you've made it big. It's been a, a good thing Thanks be for you. Yeah. Right. And so, how did we get into, you know, the limelight? How did we get into acting? When we, did we even discover acting was a passion? <laughs> okay, so I've, I've always had this, had this passion for acting since I was back home. And I really wanted to, you know, act, but I didn't get the chance to. So, when they started fighting in my country, I came to Ghana and I felt like, okay, since the industry here is better than my country, right. let me just see how best I can enter into right. the Ghanaian movie industry. So, I met a friend who had a friend working with Inja TV then, and then he introduced me to Roger Porti. Right. And then that's how I started small, small with the acting. And today I'm here. Right. So, what would you say? Um, what movie or what project would you say you worked on that really, you know, put you out there? Like, this is you now. Everybody knows you. Um, most, like, if you could be online, you hear them say it was Punch Your Hope that brought me to the land, uh, like, to where I am today. It's, a, yeah, it's kind of, but it's not really that movie that brought me out. There's this movie I did in Nigeria ah. um, called Madame Tyson, which I did with a lot of big Nigerian celebrities. Okay. Like, yeah, I can do it. Okay. Um, um, Inieto, Bishop, okay. Like, most of the big names in the industry. That yeah. movie went fine. I think it helped me a whole lot. Okay, okay. So from there on to now, your life has really completely changed. You're yeah. like... Everything good happening? Everything is good, but it is of course. Yeah. And so you're doing that. How do we get into fashion modeling? All right. So this whole fashion modeling thing started when um, my neighbor, right, she, she's a fashion designer. So I, I was passing one day going upstairs to my apartment and I saw that she was sewing. And I'm like, okay, so you do clothes. She was like, yes. I said, can I have your number so that, you know, I could look through your status just in case, you know, I see something that I like. And she was like, no problem. She gave me her contact. And it was there I was going through her status. I saw, like, I saw an outfit that I really liked. So I was like, okay, I want this particular outfit. She was like, okay. And 
when I wore the outfit, it came out so well. She was like, oh, you look so nice in this outfit. Can you model for me? I was like, mm, okay, I'll think about <laughs> it. And she was like, okay. So I did it for her. And then it came out so well. And I decided to do it on my own. I right. started ordering stuff from China, like body oh, shape okay. wear, gym wear, um, what's it called? Waist trainer and all those things. I... I started modeling for myself as well. And so that became a business that, you know, you're, you still have to now. Right, yeah. Just, okay, all right. And so I'm going to ask you one last question then. One from me, and then we move to the one that your friends ask you. You know, there's like right now where the world is going, there's really been a lot of talk about like bodies, changing bodies. Like what is your take on BBLs? Okay, for <laughs> BBL. I what do you like? What is your personal take on it? I don't mind. BBL right. is not something that... I will ask anybody to go for right. because it's very, very dangerous, right? right? But if you think you have the right doctor before you go for BBL, you have to really do your research a lot. Make sure you get the right doctors. Make sure they don't have any, like, tragic um, right. record before you go there. So if you want to do BBL, just make sure you go through that process. Right. Get the right people and you go for it. If you survive, fine. If you don't, right. fine. But I don't advise anybody to go for right. BBL. Okay, uh, we're going to go on a break. When we get back, uh, you're, we are, you're answering all the questions that your fans sent you. Yeah? Okay. Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking and Chichi is here and she's ready to answer all the questions that you sent her. Honestly. Honestly? Honestly. Okay. <laughs> all right. The first one. Peter Lynn is asking how you began your journey as an influencer and what inspired you to start. Okay. I already told you how I started the whole influencing stuff and what really inspired me was the fact that after my friend posted a video I did for her, the response was very good. Right. And then People were coming through. People started using the videos of her clothes. I noticed other countries were also using her clothes. And then I got a lot of contrast from other countries, like sending their clothes wow. for me to model it for them. And then wow. the things I was selling myself, people were really using it to sell their, you know, the same product I was selling. So it motivated me a whole lot to do it. So that's right. what kept me into doing it. Right, right. Next question, Edinam from... Mepe is asking that you share some of the challenges you faced as an influencer in Ghana. As an influencer in Ghana, one of my biggest challenge was, <laughs> you know, everybody have in mind the type of brand they want to work with, right? right? And then um, there was a time I got this contract to do an ad and we planned the shoot and everything. I was supposed, my call time was supposed to be, I think five in the morning, I think five or six in the morning. So I was all set, packed my bags and everything ready for the next day. And then I got a call from the director telling me that um, due to one or two reasons, oh, no. I would not be able to shoot the ads. I was oh. like, why? I felt so bad. And he said, before then he asked me for my social media handles. And then I gave it to him because he said the brand wanted to, the client wanted to know the yeah. model that was going to be doing the ad for them. So when they went to my page, according to them, most of my contents were all like um, adult product uh. and stuff. So what they were doing was for like mostly for kids. So they couldn't use me for that. And uh. I felt so bad. I feel kind of disappointed. I'm like, okay, that's just it. Yeah, you it know, everybody what it have is. what they yeah. want to work with. So if they don't want me, that doesn't mean Someone you know, other brands do not want to yeah. work with me. So that was, that was one it. of my... Oh, <laughs> that's okay. You'll be fine. Um, Tommy is asking if you think it is easy for you to blend acting, influencing, and modeling since they kind of work hand in hand. Um, I would say yes and I would say no because it's not easy. It's just about timing. You have to have time. You have to have consistency. You have to have the passion for it. And you're able to blend it for me like this. For now, most of what I do is the modeling and the influencing because I don't really get a lot of scripts. So I have more time to do my modeling. But if I have like a day to do acting, my modeling, and then my influencing, I first of all wake up in the morning, take care of my Reggie van because I influence for Reggie. I do my Reggie product, later on do the clothes and then go on set. It's not easy. Like it saying isn't. it is kind of easy, but it's so tedious. Yeah. It's not easy to sit down to create content. So if you have the time, if you have the passion and 
you want to do it, you can do it. It's just about right. you, you know, pushing for what you want to right. do. Right, right. Um, Joyce is asking if you can share any advice for influencers looking to build a strong personal brand in Ghana. <laughs> well, I would say, you know, we have a very big space on the market platform right, right now with great, you know, content. So if you as a person want to enter into that, you have to have a very strong brand, you know, that when you put out there, society should be able to accept it. And if you are, if your, your content is good enough that it can relate to, I think you are good to go. Yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, why not? Uh, Nana Kojo wants to know how you think social media has influenced the Ghanaian film industry. Okay, I would say social media has influenced the Ghanaian industry a whole lot because now we all know everybody is on social media. People, you don't really get people watching TV like before where people will have all the time to sit on TV, like to watch TV. People don't really do that anymore. And everybody is on social media. So right. if you are a producer and you have maybe you've you've done a project and you really want it to go because now we don't even sell CDs no more. Right, we don't right, have, right. You know, so if you reach out, like, maybe me like this, I'm an influencer, like, okay, I have this project I've done and I really want it out there. Looking at your social media platform, you have the audience, so I want you to help me promote my my my, my project. We go out there and we promote it for them. Yeah. So social media has really been a great help to the industry. Right. YouTube, we have TikTok, we have Instagram. Instagram, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, Abiba is asking if you think branding oneself is a necessary is a necessity in your field. Yes, I would say it is because as an influencer, you don't need to limit yourself to one. Maybe because I am everybody know me to be a fashion model, like a model clothes and stuff like that. But I'm not limited to that. So I'm branded in the way that if you have any product, anything at all, you want me to influence for you. I can do it. So I'm not just yeah. limited to it. Right, right. Nat wants to know if you would say you are successful and achieved your goals in your career life. Like, you know, would you say, ah, of I'm course, successful, I've of achieved course my goals. Not. Of course Oh, not. no, I thought you were going to say, of course. Not. I mean, you know, there's still room for learning more. Right. There's still room to improve my crafts, to improve on a whole lot of things that I think I want to become better in the future. So I can say I've I'm successful now because there are so many people looking up to me and I feel like I'm not there yet to tell them you can do this, you can right. do that. I need to learn more. I need to work on my craft. I need to work on my skills so that tomorrow when I'm talking to maybe somebody that is looking up to me, be like, you can do this, you can do that. I should be having the confidence. I should be proud enough to tell them you can do it. Right. So I'm yet to get there. I'm still having right. space for yeah. that. No. Well spoken. Final one, and then we move to the last segment. Um, Linda wants to know how you react to criticisms, especially negative comments from people. Hmm. Well, as of now, I don't really pay attention to that. It was before when people talked to me about, like, people criticized me. I used to be worried about that. But, like, we all know people will always be people. We have two At people the out there, the day, ones yeah. that will criticize you, the ones that will, you know, give you good comments. So what I do is that I pick on the positive, you know, comments from people and work on it. I don't build on the negative, you know, stuff because I have a whole lot to do. I don't have the time to sit down and focus on negative comments to grieve my spirit and be down. Because when I'm grieving and down, I will not have the strength to do what I have to yeah. do. So. I don't really focus on the negative yeah. ones. I always yeah. try to work on the positive ones to, you know, build myself yeah. For, yeah. to become yeah. better. Yeah. Well spoken. I'm actually impressed by her thought process and all. Guys, that's it for this segment. Uh, when we return from the break, Chichi is in the rapid fire seat. <laughs>
welcome back this is honestly speaking chi chi is ready she's already in the seat ready to answer all your questions honestly fast 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 yeah am i right right okay uh the first one would you rather money or passion money okay would you rather speak in rhyme for the rest of your life or speak in riddles for the rest of your life speaking riddles <laughs> would you rather eat ice cream with ketchup or banana with ketchup Mm, banana with ketchup. Mm. <laughs> would you rather love or career? Love. Okay, would you rather have millions of Instagram followers or host a popular TV show? Millions of Instagram followers. Yeah, you could do so much with that. <laughs> would you rather deal with online trolls every day or have everyone love you but have a less exciting life? Online troll. Every day, yeah. Mm. Would you, um, should Ghana remain a two party system or a multi party system? Multi -party system. Okay. Yeah. Okay, would you rather launch your clothing line? Or a line of beauty products? The both of them. Both? You have to choose one. Okay, choose clothing one. line. Clothing, okay. Would you rather eat leftover jollof rice or leftover wachi? Leftover jollof. Yeah, leftover jollof rice. Bang, <laughs> there, slaps. <laughs> that is the one. Uh, final one, and then you're leaving. <laughs> Would you rather have the power to grant one wish to every Ghanaian or have all your social media comments be positive and supportive? All my social media Yeah. Comments. Oh, Ghanaians, look at how she has done you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've really just come to the end of um, the interview. Before I let you go, is there anything that you want to say? Anything you're yeah. working on? Any advice that you have? Um, first of all, I would like to say very big thank you for having me on your show. It's a privilege to be here. Thank and you I would for like to coming. say a big shout out to my fashion designer, Evolve by E, for my beautiful dress. And um, thanks to Franca for my beautiful makeup. Yes. Um, I'm working on the project right now, but I can say you guys should just watch out for that project. It's going to be a bomb. Soon? So, Is it yes. coming out soon? Yeah, very soon. Okay. So you guys just watch out for that. All right, all right. That's exciting. Guys, that is how we draw the curtains on today's episode of Honestly Speaking. A very special thank you goes to Chi Chi for gracing us with her presence, you know, making sure this was fun. A special thank you also goes to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and Afro Lounge for providing us with the space and drinks to conduct our interviews. Guys, if you feel like at any point Chi Chi wasn't being honest, say something in the comments box we're going to bring her back to answer all the questions that have been bugging you and yeah uh, don't forget to like subscribe share the link and comment who you want to see next until next time guys bye, bye.